Hey guys, iOS 18.2 Public Beta 2 is out with lots of new features, changes, UI changes. So in this video, I'm going to cover every other feature. Also, I will talk about bit about the battery life and the Geekbest score so you can have the idea about the performance and the battery life. I will also talk about the upcoming release date. So without any further delay, let's get jump into this video. Starting with the very first thing is all the new changes that are available with the iOS 18.2 public beta 2. So when you are in photos, now the photo view is changed. Before this, it used to, you know, in a different, you need to tap on it and it zooms out. So it, wa it was used to something like this, but now it is a full screen photo. For example, if I share a screenshot over here, it is already a full screen. In the previous version, you have to tap to bring a full screen, but it is already a full screen. And it is also like the overlay of photos is also on the image. Um, it's a decent update. It's look better being very honest. Um, you don't have to, you know, go extra tap, but some people do like that the previous one. Also, even if you are playing any sort of video, for example, the video is already in full screen mode. You don't need to have another tap. So view mode of photos uh, is and videos is changed with this update. Also, now the date is date or day is over here in the center. Before this was over here. Also, now there is no cross button, and now there is a back button that makes more sense. So these are few changes in the photos app which are available with this update. Quite simple. Also, in the menu uh, context, um, over here now the writing tools is available in the first uh, of layout of the menu so for the people who have apple intelligence they can get a um, writing tools access right from here in messages or in other application also when you tap over here now the airdrive icon is slightly different than the previous one also these icons in the share sheet now are available in the dark mode and in the Apple intelligence, the chat GPT icon color is now black. So you can differentiate between the Apple intelligence and chat GPT. I did notice some changes in the podcast application. They are might not with, with this update, but they are definitely with the 18.2. So here are a few changes. Now there are a couple of options available on the homepage that are based on your listening. As you can see, based on your listening, although it is not quite good these are not based on my listening being very honest also when you go to the library over here you now there is a new option of categories there are different categories available and um, these are definitely uh, for the podcast that you are following so for example in society and culture on the top there will be podcasts that i am following then there will be podcasts that are top shows and then more and the this is how it looked like. Also, when you go back over here and tap on your profile picture, this, there is manage favorite categories option also available. Tapping on this, it will show all the categories you want to. If you want to add any category to the favorite one, you can add by doing this. This is also available with this update. So these are the features or changes that are available with this update. If I talk about the Geekbest score, it gives me the highest Geekbest score ever which I'm surprised to see being very honest and I'm also happy at the same time that we are heading towards a really good update. 2350 on a single core, 157 on 93 on a multi core and it is the best core that we ever get for now which is amazing. Going back in the GPU scores that scores are also really good. I got 21559 which is insane. So scores are really good so there are no issues. With the performance at all if i talk about the battery life uh battery life is going decent definitely it is out here i cannot speak much about the battery life but i have used every other ios 18.2 betas battery life is very improved definitely i will test it more than i will share the battery life although i tested out the developer beta 3 and for that battery life is really good if i show you the battery life over here i got more than seven hours of screen all time using it for like 75%, which is really, really good. So about the battery life, I will talk about in upcoming videos. 
talking about the next upcoming update apple is trying to you know push the updates uh, because of the apple intelligence so we are going to see final release around the uh, first week of december and from now onwards apple is on a weekly cycle of the beta updates well this is all from this video and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out